Hi guys, so today we are going to do an image transfer. So I just have some prints here. This is from my home laser printer. Um, but it's always good to go to actually a coffee store and get your um, prints printed out there. Um, the ink is just better in the saturation and I think you'll have better results. But I have a laser printer at home that isn't too bad. It doesn't do such a bad job. Now when you're doing image transfers, um, you need to keep in mind that it's not going to be perfect. Um, it's not supposed to be a perfect crisp edge, um, so kind of keep that in mind. Now for this project, I am using my Deco Arts Deco Page glue, which I knew, which is around here somewhere, <laughs> over here. Okay, this works really, really well, um, and you can actually do image transfers with them. It works out very, very well. So um, I just have the. Deco Arts Americana Deco Page Matte. It's a glue and a sealer. Okay, this does take a while to do, so I did do one earlier so we could kind of get instant gratification. When I do my image transfers, I like to take off as much as I can around the surface, although it really doesn't make so much of a difference. Is it's just going to show up white and the paper will pull off. But I still try to get as much off as I can. So we're just going to cut around. So I'll show you in a second. This is just my kind of practice little art journal that I have. Just like that. Okay, then all we're going to do is grab a brush. Probably one that has not been in the water. That would be good. All right. Maybe I'll use this one over here. I really like these big bristle brushes um, for using my glue and medium. So I think I'm going to put it like right in here. And image transfers are so fun to do um, in your journal. You just want a nice even kind of coat on your paper. Not too thin, not too thick, just nice and even. Okay, and we can put that there. Okay, and I'm going to varnish it. So I'll just take my bone folder. Be careful not to get the glue. On it now. And I actually let mine dry overnight just to be safe. But you could probably get away with it, letting it sit for a couple of hours. So just kind of keep that in mind. Alrighty, so let's work on this one. You guys will see this probably in a future project. So I'm going to finish up this page. So let's work with this one here. Now um, it's going to take many applications. I just have some water here. And I have a little bit of a spray gun, so I'm just going to gently spray it. Okay. But it's going to take a little bit of time. You have to be patient if you're going to do image transfers. And as I said, it's not going to be a perfect image. So kind of get that out of your head. And you should let it sit, you know, for a little while. And you need to be very gentle because we're just taking off the layers of the paper. And you'll think that you've got all the paper and then you'll let it dry a little bit and you'll have to remove more. So I usually, it usually takes me what, like three or four times at least. You see here, I'm not, I didn't add enough glue there. Alrighty, so gentle, gentle, gentle.
because we're getting there. We're getting that image of the tree out. And image transfers are so fun to add to your work. It's definitely a fun thing. Over in this corner here. And this I don't really care if I I can go a little bit rougher on here because there's not a branch or anything that's hanging out over here. Yeah, see, and I went a little too rough there, so I'm pulling it up, which is not what I want to do. So um, it's better to kind of back off, let it dry a little bit, which I think I'm going to do. Okay, so I am going to just take a dry brush. And I just like to remove some of that paper gently, of course, because I'm starting to get where the image is pulling up on me a little bit. But you saw that I lost this little branch here, but I mean, it still looks really cool. So don't worry so much about it, right? And go here. some of that stuff there and I do like to have a water a little thing of water too Ooh, and I'm pulling that up but just tell yourself that it's not going to be perfect <laughs> and if you like things to be perfect or to be all the way right then yeah this is probably not the best technique for you to do in your journal. Alrighty, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and I'll be back. Um, I let it fully dry and then I'll go back in and I'll do another layer. But I do want to show you, I did do this before. So this is a little bird that I did. And um, my printer was almost out of ink. So um, he did get, like, it didn't print very well in the first place. Um, so the streaks that you see are the places in my printer where um, it didn't have any ink left on the cartridge. So but you can see his face and stuff. So it does work very, very well. Alrighty, so I'm going to let this dry. But I did have to do, I did to get rid of all the paper off of him. Um, I did, and you'll see, um, because it'll have a haze on it if it's not quite done. Like I can feel here on the tip and see that it's kind of hazy, but if you look um, at his head, it's pretty much clear. So I don't really have to worry about that. And it's okay if there's a little bit of haze. Um, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry fully, and then I'm going to go back in. And we'll see. Okay, so it. let's continue. So I just have my fingers a little wet, and I'm going to go in and remove. And I am working gently here. I did mess up a little bit and pull a little bit back there. But. You can take your brush, remove some of the particles if you need to, but you see that the image is getting clearer and clearer. So we are doing a good job. It just takes a little bit of time. really want to try transfer decals. I think those would be really cool. I'll have to get some stuff for that. It's kind of, it can be a little pricey. You guys know that I'm a cheap crafter, so or I'm on a budget, so I have to be a little careful with my ducats sometimes, but cool. I think it's like yes pace, and then there's like a decal thing, so I'll just have to wait until I can save up a little bit to get that. Oops. And this, I'm actually removing the paint. The <laughs> paper, crazy girl. Very good. Alrighty, how do we look here? Alrighty, I think that I'm going to stop there again. 
let that dry a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of an area here that I want to kind of get up a little bit more. And uh, maybe up in here too. But we do have an image transfer. You can see it's a little bush. It was supposed to be a tree, but that's all right. But I removed a little bit too much here. And I kind of messed up that side too, but that's okay. We'll do this one too. And I'll be a little bit more gentle and that should help. <laughs> okay. So we'll just let this dry again and I think it'll just be one more time and then it'll be ready to go. Okay guys, so that's how it looks so far. So it turned out really well and I just got a little rough on these pages. So I am going to take this one off, but I'm going to put it in fast motion so you guys can see. So let me give it a spray. Kind of wet it a little bit. My water here. So I'm going to go ahead and again, it's probably going to take three times for me to layer it. And you do want to go easy because I did rip off some of the paper here. So just go easy. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys watch. And So um, it's done. So as you see, I went a little rough on some spots, but it's not bad. I mean, if it's really bothering me, I can go in with a pen and kind of doodle over them. Um, but I love it and it really works and it's a really cool way to do an image transfer. And if you're not as impatient as me, you can totally do it um, without having a problem. So I hope you guys try this technique. Uh, make sure you get some Deco Arts Deco Page Glue. Um, really fun and simple um, to use and um, you can make your own fabulous image transfers. Okay guys, so um, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please like and share this video. It helps me out. Bye bye.